السلام علیکم سٹوری نمبر ففٹی ٹو اینڈ دا ٹائٹل آف دا اسٹوری از دا میراکولاس شی کیمل دا میراکولاس شی کیمل وائی اٹ واز میراکولاس شی کیمل بیکاز That camel was a special miracle from Allah. And it didn't have a natural birth. It was a she camel. Came out of a stony mountain. With the command of Allah. And its size was not normal she camel size. It was huge. And that she camel used to eat a lot. And it used to eat so much that one day was allocated for her to graze and eat everything. And next day it was for the rest of the hearts. So by turn one day for her and all the hearts had to be kept at home and next day she would rest and the other hearts would come and would eat. It was like that. It was huge. Used to drink, 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 you know, as much as so many other hearts could drink. So it was a miraculous she camel. That she camel, how did it come? So we are going to focus that part in this story. There was a tribe in Arab area called Samud Samud. And to them, Allah sent a messenger from among them, a messenger, and his name was Saleh alayhi salam. So that community, Samud community, they used to worship idols. Saleh alayhi salam went to them to teach them that they should worship only Allah and they should give up idol worshipping. Those people or his people they made a demand. They said if you can bring a miracle for us in front of us then we will accept Iman. We will believe in Allah, believe in you as a messenger. You pray to your Lord that from the stony mountain in front of us Allah will bring out a she camel and that camel has to be pregnant and then will come out and will give birth so we'll have a baby camel and we can we can have milk from her also if you can bring that who will accept him? So the deal was done. Prophet Saleh salam, he made the prayer. Allah accepted it. People gathered around a mountain and in front of them the mountain stony mountain shook, cracked and came out that huge she camel, pregnant one. But some people they cheated. Some people they believed according to their deal. And some people they said, no, we don't want to believe. It is a long story. But I'll just give some highlights to have an understanding. 
So let us go to Holy Quran at chapter 7, bar 73, and we start from there. <coughs> بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم وإلى ثمود أخاهم صالحا and to the Samud people we send Saleh عليه السلام قال يا قوم عبد الله ما لكم من إله غير he said O oh my people, Urbudullah, worship Allah. Ma lakum min ilahin ghayr. You have no other God but Him. Ya qawmi ibudullah, ma lakum min ilahin ghayr. قَدْ جَاءَتْكُمْ بَيِّنَةٌ مِّن رَبِّكُمْ Has come to you the signs from Allah, the miracle from Allah. هَذِهِ نَاقَةُ اللَّهِ لَكُمْ In here, this is this female camel. The she camel of Allah is a sign to you. Father, so let her graze in Allah's earth. So, Shwaib salam, he made the turn. One day, the she camel will graze. And all other farmers, they will keep their horse at home. And next day, she came in with rest, and it will be grazing time for the others. So here he is instructing. So let her graze in Allah's earth. وَلَا تَمَسُّهَا بِسُو and do not harm her. فَيَأَخُذَكُمْ عَذَابٌ أَلِيمٌ And if you do any harm to her, then you shall be caught up in a painful penalty, in a painful punishment. So, that was his warning. So as I said, there are some people they breached their promise, the first promise. The promise was that they would believe after seeing the miracle, but they did not. They breached their promise. And Allah gave them chance, did not destroy them. Allah gave them another chance with the she camel. That already the miracle of Sheikh Kamal has come. Now the condition is don't harm her. Don't do any harm to her. And do not disrupt her grazing. If you do, then punishment will come. Saleh salam, he gave them that message. What did they do? What did they do? They did not listen to this. It's a long story. I'm just going to give the highlight. So what did they do? They killed the shikaman. They killed it. How did it happen? Two ladies <coughs> from that nation. They took the initiative. One lady, she was very, very rich and she had few girls. And her name was Unaiza. Unaiza, 
she allured a ruffian, a ruffian named Qadr. He said to Qadr that, look, if you can kill the she-camel, then you can marry any of my pretty daughters. He took the offer. Another lady, she was very pretty. Her husband became a believer and followed the, the teaching of Saleh alayhi salam. And for that reason, she left him because she was not a believer. She left him and she allured another man whose name was Mishda and her name was Sadka. So Unaiza allured Qadr saying that if you can kill the she camel, you can marry any of my daughter. And Sadka, she allured Mishda, she said, if you can kill the she camel, you can help me. You can use my body. So Mishda also took that proposal. So Kadar and Mishda, they joined in that mission, evil mission, and they hired or they selected seven more Rafians from their nation. So together they became nine. And one day, nine of them, they attacked the Shikamel and they killed the Shikamel. They used arrow to throw the arrow in her leg. They used the spear in the chest. They used sword in throat. And before the death of the Shikamel, she made a big scream as if she was warning her warning her child to run away. But according to one narration, they also killed the baby camel as well. So they killed and they were very defiant. فَاقَرٌ نَاقَهُ وَعَتَوْا عَنْ وَعَتَوْا عَنْ أَمْرِ رَبِّهِمْ and they proudly opposed the order of their Lord. Their Lord Allah ordered them. What was the order? Wala tamasuha bisu in fayakuzakum azabun alim. Do not do any harm to the shikamel, otherwise you will be punished. So they defied that. Allah's order and they send information to Saleh alayhi salam. People were gathered, the camel and its baby were killed and Shoaib, uh, Saleh alayhi salam he came running, he arrived and then when he arrived this defiant people challenged him. What was their challenge? It is also recorded in Quran. So they say, Qalu ya salih utina bima ta'iduna in kunta min al-mursaleet They said, O oh, Saleh, bring on your threats the threats you gave, bring it if you are truly a messenger of Allah. So what was the threat? That if you harm the shikamel, you will be punished. So they said, bring that punishment. If you are true, bring it now. Salih alayhi salam began to cry. He said to them, I explain to you so much 
I warn you so much. I wanted to save you from Allah's punishment. Yet, alas, you are demanding to be punished by Allah. You are breaking deals after deals with Allah. You are defying, so you wait for the punishment. In chapter 11, verse 65, we find that he gave the last warning ultimatum, and that was, he said, enjoy yourself in your home for three days. And this is a promise that is not going to be lie. So, you have got three more days to live in this earth. Enjoy. When they received that information from him, they made more plan. They made a plan that, look, we better kill Saleh and his family. In case, after three days, we are going to be finished, then we should make Shiva that we finish him and his family before we are finished. But if after three days there is no punishment to come, then we should finish him to be, or we, we should send him like where the she camel has been sent. So they made the plan. But Allah Almighty did not allow them to execute their plan. How the last three days they spent? According to a narration, Wednesday was the day when they killed the she -kaman. So from Thursday, three days, they had to enjoy. So Thursday, with the power of Allah, their face became yellow. Thursday was the first day of three days. Friday was the second day. And second day, their face turned into red. Third day was the Saturday. And third day, their face turned to black. And fourth day was Sunday, and Sunday morning was their finish, finishing time. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, in Holy Quran, what happened in that day, in chapter 7, 78. So earthquake, a violent earthquake took them and they all died facing, facing down. All of them died with facing down. So the punishment came at the sunrise of Sunday, Sunday morning, a violent earthquake and also a violent noise. Jibreel alayhi salam, the angel Jibreel, he made a terrible noise from the sky. So that terrible noise was very scary for them. And also with the violent earthquake, Normally we call it natural disaster. But according to Islamic faith, you can call it natural or you can call it earthquake, we earthquake, whatever you call, but nothing happens in the nature. Nothing happens in the earth, in the environment, except we have something to do it. 
and accept as a consequence consequences of our bad deeds or as a warning for things or as a lesson for the mankind things happens so <clears throat> sometimes natural disaster comes to test us to test people faith and to purify their sins by some suffering so sunday morning was their last day and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in chapter 7 79 that what was the final word of saleh alaihi salam when he left them to be away from the earthquake fatawalla anhum wa qala ya qaw so saleh left them saying o oh my people لقد ابلغتكم رساله ربي ونصحت لكم لقد ابلغتكم رساله ربي ونصحت لكم ولكن لا تحبون الناصح O oh my people I did truly bring to you the message for which I was sent by my lord I gave you good advice wa nasahtu lakum walakin la tuhibbun an-nasihi but you did not love good advisers and that is the reality a lot of people even though they are given good advices but they don't love good advices may allah save us from all kinds of natural disasters and sufferings may allah guide all the mankind and may allah guide us so that we can live in peace and harmony amen السلام عليكم